using these uh, inter IO lights, though, I haven't had the problem yet. You can put them right on there and they'll connect pretty good. Main re reason you want light in here, in, well, in the um, cursed earth one, you want light because it'll prevent the cursed earth from spawning. And this one, based ma ma only, uh, mainly uh, so that other things don't spawn. Um, the spawner, once you turn it off, it won't spawn. Uh, but the... Uh, It'll be dark in there, and things will just spawn just because of the darkness. Uh, and you don't want that. Oh, wait. You know what? I forgot to put that connector. I don't think I'm going to need one redstone here. Yeah. facades try to keep the same color scheme black there there's two black there black red is this red yeah this is all red 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 I mentioned this before this is um bloodwood Let's see if I just point out. Yeah, bloodwood planks um, from bloodwood trees. That tree right over there, that upside down tree from the nether. I always like the looks of it. All the rest are black. I think I got the right color pattern. Let's see, woohoo! Yep. All right. Now I'm gonna do this side. I'm gonna. Well, you've seen how I did that side. Uh, this one's gonna take a little longer, so I'm gonna go stop the recording just while I'm doing this real quick. So I'll be right back. All right. I got all the lights in. Um. Got them on. Turn them off. Yeah. Turn them on. All right. Whoa, that was a glitch. All right, so I got the area lit up in here. Nothing's going to spawn. I could actually, at this point, put in the cursed earth, but I'm going to wait until after I get it completely done. Um, I also put in these floodgates. <coughs> Um, I mentioned it on one or two of the takes of of this. I'm not sure which takes going to make it in the final cut. Um, I did the draw bridges. Or did I say floodgates? I meant draw bridges. Um, I did these off camera because I had to play with them a little bit. I wanted them up one higher. Um, I'll show you what they are first. When you're... Yeah, I probably edited this out when I explained it before. When you're fighting manually, you want to be under here, and you can get, like, the wither skeletons to run up to you and hit them about like that. Um, so you can get more heads if you have, like, a cleaver with, you know... 100% beheading, you can get get skulls every time. Um, but when you want to do this automatically and have the Killer Joes working, um, you do this. And that way, nothing can get out at you or nothing will see you. They won't run towards you. And you can watch it through, through this glass. 
Um, I wanted it up one higher so that I could have the glass come down two, but it was, let me get this wrench in my hand, it was interfering with, oh, and that's doing that again. Oh, I also found it an easier way to do this is just point at it and right click it with the wrench and, and it disconnects from there. Yeah, I knew that, but I just don't know why I wasn't thinking about it before. But this was conflicting here, and it's doing it here too. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. Um, yeah, it was interfering with, with if, if you look down there, I put the, it's just regular redstone conduit. This is a insulated redstone conduit, but insulated wouldn't work on that. So I used regular redstone conduit. And yeah, it was interfering with this line here. So I had to do some messing around. I had to drop this down one. And it's okay with okay, without the wrench in my hand. No, you could I was gonna kinda try to hide that somehow, but yeah, that gold looks alright, I guess. It doesn't matter. You can only see it from this back window anyway. So, got that done, and it's working good. Um, I only have one more switch I need to put in here, and that's to turn the, it'll turn the, um, the auto spawner and the Killer Joes off and on, and I'll put it over here somewhere in the corner. Um, so I have this switch here for the lights, and this switch here for the drawbridge. And then I'll have the other one to turn it off and on. So, all right, I got most of the machine, well, all the machines in each one of these done. Um, I still need to put that there. Let me see what I've left in here. Yeah, I need to set up the vat, which is going to make the fuel for Killer Joes. And I need to set up the farming station. Figure this out real quick. Okay. Oh. The farming station has to go one high, so add some dirt. Put that there. Let me go under here a minute. So if I could figure out. Yeah, that one, this one's easy to figure out. Let's get rid of the dirt. I can put conduits in there. This one, yeah, I can tell where that's at. Too. All right. That's the only two that I had plugged up. Those, those are the only two that are at ground height like that. Um, this bat, I'm not sure where I'm going to set this up. I guess right here is as good a place as any. Yeah, I guess I need to do it like this too. Um, wait. Yeah, I'm going to have to think about this. I'm going to figure that out off camera where I want to put this. Um, I'm not sure where the best spot is. It's going to be getting stuff from here and stuff from over here. I should probably put it between them. It's probably right here. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, that's where I'm going to put it. Right there. And I'm going to... Whoa, come here, come here. Ah, did I get it? Yeah, okay. This is going towards that vacuum chest. Now I'm going to do it right here instead. And... Yeah. So that's one, two, three, four blocks over. One, two, three, four. All right. And now I want to finish making this iron tank. So I want, okay, with these iron tanks, they hold. 16 buckets of fluid per block area. That's counting the out the, the actual blocks for the outer shell of it and the blocks on the air blocks on the inside. Um, so how you figure that out is okay it's, it's si actually 16,000 millibuckets which is 16 buckets. Um, 16,000 times 7 times 7. Okay, first just go 7 times 7. 
which is one, uh, which is the dimensions of the seven times seven times seven. So seven times seven, then then multiply that by seven, then multiply that by sixteen hundred, and you'll get. Oh, I don't know. It's five thousand two hundred and something buckets. <laughs> So that's crazy. That's a lot of buckets. Um, that should be plenty to do this. Uh, more than enough. I, I usually use um, portable tanks. Uh, resonant portable tanks, I think, from um, Thermal Expansion. And they hold 512 thousand millibuckets each. And I use about six of those. So that's about oh, three million, I guess, um, millibuckets. And this is going to have over twice that, or right around twice that. So that it's, it takes up a lot more room, but I think it looks cool. So that's no big deal. Okay, with these, you have to have, to have the intake well, I guess you can put the intake anywhere. I think it's better to put it at the top. Yeah, I think it, it, this all works on gravity. So I think a, the intake has to be towards the top, and that's using these valves. Um, so I'm just going to put it right dead center of the top. And I'm going to make an X here. And put glass. I'm trying to trying to make it look cool too. So oh, something wrong with the animation there. Or the texturing. Okay. Because the um, mob essence is this bright green color. I want to be able to see that. You can actually color the uh, blocks of this, but I think the bright green color is going to look good up against the white. Okay, so. Another valve, I, I got, you make these at eight valves at a time, so I couldn't get less than that. I'm only going to use two. This one's going to be the outtake valve. Um, this is, a mile business is going to go from here to the auto spawner. And this one's going to be hooked up to the, um, the uh, drains, the sewers, I mean, in here. Yeah, the sewers, not drains. <laughs> um, so yeah, the sewers is going to the mob essence is going to come from the sewers over there, into here, then out here to the auto spawner. All right. Yeah, there's something weird with the texturing in my in my uh, hot bar. Right there, it's got a black background, and here it's got clear background. That's weird. Okay, so I'm just going to alternate these just for looks. You can, just so you have uh, this complete enclosure done in these three types of blocks, the wall, the gauge, and the valve, you can do it in any combination you want. And the last time I made one of these was, was a long time ago. It was um, probably the second world I ever played in modded. Uh, I put the valves right here in the bottom center. I think the, the um, outtake has to be in the bottom row. Or the bottom two rows, they say. This, this be in the bottom row, and then this one be in the second one. Because if you have them up here, then any fluid that's in this bottom row won't come out and if you have them up higher I think anything under that won't come out so it's just like forever stuck in side all right <clears throat> now we need to put the conduits in and well the uh, main conduits uh, there are three different kinds energy fluid and item that we're going to be using for this step um, so you got to 
separate into what items use which um, type of conduit. The energy, oh, hold on a second, I can't, oh, there's rain, uh, I can't do this with rain on. I don't like cheating on the server because there is, well, there's only three of us left now, but um, yeah, I don't like doing that on the server, but while I'm recording, that will possibly give me a lot of lag. Um, okay, so the items that are going to use energy are the auto spawner, the bat, this um, farming station, and the mob grinders. I think that's all that's going to use energy. So I'm going to run a main cable or, or conduit underneath all of this. Um, I think I have enough to do this. I'm not positive. Yeah, I don't need to go either of those directions, but okay, first of all, go on here. And I want to, I'm going to set these when, when I connect to uh, an item, or one of the machines, I'm going to set it as I do it so I don't get lost. So this one is going to be, the energy is input on here. So insert and oh, I'm, I might actually have to have to put redstone on this too that's the only only one out of all these that I'm gonna have to put redstone on just to turn this off and on but I'll do that later last to there and I need to go this way too And this one's the energy's input also. Go insert. Oh, missed my turn. And I'm going to connect these two together. And then go this way. I actually need to do one other thing here. Get up here to the chest. Um, I need to hook up something, uh, an energy source. And I'm going to put that right here. This is a dimensional transceiver. It's like a tesseract. Um, for now, my energy is coming from down in here. Uh, I have nine, oh, I think I explained this earlier too. I got nine um, magmatic dynamos down in there. And I have a tesseract, I mean not a tesseract, a dimensional transceiver down in there outputting it. So I just need to click in here and go to energy. And this is temp power and receive it from there. That'll give me power for everything. And I need to make sure this is on. Extract and always on. All right, so now I got power. Did I set this to insert? Yeah. Yeah, this is gonna go to each one of these. Oh. Insert. Let me see if that's getting power now. Yep. See, it's already oh, it's already full. Dang, that was quick. Um, go this way first. These are the um, grinders. I got six of these, and there's three on each side. I only got this going to the center this side did I I did set that for insert right no nope. okay uh, yeah on this side but on this side I have it wrapping around all the, going all the way to the side and then wrapping around and going over that way 
Uh, that way I don't have to have it going on both sides. So I just want it going on just this one side, but first I need to go to this one. And then this way. Okay, so I have power. Yay. 